Greetings, folks. Welcome. The R squared, which is also known as the coefficient of determination, is a statistic that we can use to evaluate the performance of a regression model. Specifically, the R squared tells us the percentage of variation in Y, which is the dependent variable, that is explained by the regression model. The R squared is based on the premise that there's variation in Y, which is a dependent variable. Here you see a scatter plot. I've actually indicated the mean value of Y with Y bar. And you can see that there are high values of Y and there are low values of Y. That's what we mean to say there's variation in Y. Not every value is the same. The R squared is also based on the premise that the regression model does not perfectly predict every value of Y or the dependent variable. Now I've inserted the regression line into the scatter plot and all the values on the line are predicted values based on the regression model. So you see the point labeled as y hat. That's a predicted value based on the regression model. And that value happens to be lower than the actual value of y for that corresponding x value. And the difference between yi, which is the actual observation, and yi hat that's predicted by the regression model is called a residual. Here's a formula used to calculate the R squared or coefficient of determination. On the left, you see the total sum of squares. That's just a measure of the variation in the dependent variable or the variation in Y. To calculate the total sum of squares, you take the value of an observation, YI, you subtract from that the mean value of Y, which is Y bar, and you square that. You do that for every observation. Again, that gives you a good indication of just the variation in Y. And that's equal to the sum of the squared errors. And that's what we looked at on the last slide. That's, that's an indication of the residuals. So it's yi, that's the value for the observation, minus yi hat, which is the predicted value based on the regression model. And you square that. Of course, you sum that for every single observation. And then finally, you have the sum of the squared regressions, which is a predicted value based on the regression model, yi hat, minus the mean value of y, y bar, and you square that, and of course you sum that across all the observations. And the R squared is a ratio of the sum of squared regressions divided by the sum of the squared total. So if you have high residuals, you've got a low R squared. If you have low residuals, in other words, if all the points are close to the line, you have a high R squared. And once again, the coefficient of determination, or R squared, tells us the percentage of the variation in Y that is explained by the regression model. A feature of the R squared is that as you add explanatory variables to a regression model, the R squared always increases. And if you add a variable to the model that does a good job of explaining the dependent variable, the R squared might go up by a lot. But likewise, you could add a variable to the model that really doesn't belong, and the R squared is always going to go up, if only just by a little bit. This makes it difficult to compare models, especially if they have different numbers of explanatory variables using the R squared. To overcome this limitation of R squared, we sometimes use a statistic that's called the adjusted R squared. And sort of as its name implies, the adjusted R squared adjusts the R squared to account for the number of explanatory variables that you have included in the model. This means that you can use the adjusted R squared to compare the performance of models with different numbers of explanatory variables. Here's a formula that's used to calculate the adjusted R squared. The adjusted R squared is equal to 1 minus 1 minus the R squared, and that amount is multiplied by n minus 1, where n is the sample size, divided by n minus k minus 1, where k is the number of explanatory variables. Since the number of explanatory variables is in the denominator of that ratio on the right-hand side of the formula, this means that if you increase the number of explanatory variables, but that variable that you bring into the model doesn't really increase the R squared by very much, it's going to lower the adjusted R squared. In other words, if you just add a bunch of variables that really don't belong in the model, it's going to pull down that adjusted R squared.